Hello students, welcome back. Here is our short tutorial, part four of our spaceship tutorial series. In this one, we're gonna take a look at the different projectiles we've made. At this point, you should have made at least another missile projectile, if not more of your own custom ones. We're gonna think about how to introduce modularity into our code for these different projectiles. At this point, you should have, unless you've worked ahead and thought of modularity on your own, which if you did, wonderful, if not, you maybe have a few different methods for shooting your different types of weapons. But we can notice a pattern, and wherever we notice a pattern, modularity is going to be beneficial to us. Each time I shoot a weapon, I create it, I set the rotation, and I add it to my world. It's the same for all of them. Modularity would be wonderful here. If we can set some rules that any weapon that we create, we can add automatically in these ways, then we could have technically an unlimited number of weapons and save ourselves a ton of code in the long run. Here is what we're going to do to be able to do this. I'm gonna create a custom method called just shoot. Now back in the first place, when we had one weapon, shoot works just fine. In this case, we want shoot to be able to be generalized to accept any weapon. And here's how we're gonna do this. We're going to tell shoot to accept a projectile as the information sent to it. What projectiles do we have? Well, so far, we have three, missile, fireball, and laser. These are all children of the projectile class, so they can be considered projectiles. They're allowed to be considered that. Now I need to give whatever projectile sent a name. We're going to call it fire this. We're sending it the information of what weapon we want to be fired when we shoot it. And then we define the logic for how it's shot. So we are going to already have a an, an projectile object created. We don't need to create a new one in the same way we did here. We're going to do it in a slightly different way. I'm going to skip to the second line. I want to set the rotation of the projectile I send to it. So I'm going to take fire this, and I'm going to set its rotation to get rotation the rotation of my actual ship that I'm working with locally here. And now I want to add this object to my world. I am adding fire this to my world, whatever projectile I sent to this to my world. I'm adding it to get x and get y, just like previously. The one difference here is that rather than having a, sp a particular weapon each time, I'm sending the weapon to it when I construct this. I'm gonna do something scary now, but it's okay. We can do this. I'm gonna delete all the information for my shooting. And now Greenfoot should complain if it's keeping up with this. Sometimes it glitches a little bit. None of these methods are here anymore. If I hit compile, I'm not gonna think it's being really finicky. Let's just reload this now that I've saved it. And if I open this, we should see that there's some errors going on. My gosh, maybe that's being a real nuisance. It should be telling us that shoot laser, shoot fireball, and shoot missile aren't going to work because I've deleted those methods, which I wanted to do because I wanted to clean up my code a little bit and make it more modular. I need to have a custom rule set for deciding what type of shooting I want to have happen. And to do that, I'm going to create another custom method called process shot. And in this, I'm going to define the logic for which key presses correlate to different shooting. So I'm going to take this out of my key pressing here. The reason I'm doing this is just for the clarity of my code. I want my process keys to be about the movement of my character. Maybe I could even change this to movement to make it more clear. And I want this to process the logic of shooting. They're different inputs, even though they're both inputs. They do different things, and so by modulating them to their unique sections, I can kind of keep my code um, separated so if there's any errors happening with a shooting, I know it has nothing to do with the movement. Okay, In different compartments, it allows me to have those things be disconnected, and I can troubleshoot any issues much more easily here. In this case, I set space, F, and E. You can have whatever controls you want to do these things for shooting. But in this case, rather than accessing a custom method, I'm accessing my general method. When I pressed space before, I had a laser. Well, 
here's how I do this. I'm going to access my shoot method. And what am I going to send to my shoot method? I'm going to send a projectile of the type I want it to fire. It's going to be a laser. I don't have a laser made yet. I can actually make one right here where I'm going to send it. Not a loser, a laser. <laughs> nice typo. I'm going to shoot a new laser. And I have to input, remember, its speed. Before we define that as 5. So when space is pressed, create a new laser of speed 5. And then shoot that by sending that new laser to the shoot method, which is going to process it. It's going to set the rotation of this laser to the same as my character. And then it's going to add this laser to my world. Instead of the custom shoot fireball, I can tell it to shoot a new fireball of speed 2, like I did previously. And instead of a whole new unique method for shoot missile, I can just use my general method and send it a new missile of speed, what did we have before, 10 or 8 or something, of speed 10. Now, processing shot, I can process the keys separately from processing shot. And so every time I act, I might want to also process the shot each act. It's modular, it's generalized, that's awesome. If I run it, it should work just before with the thing shooting different speeds, beautiful. Nothing has changed in terms of the functionality, but in terms of the layout and logic of my code, it's much tighter, much more module.